Hi, sir. Good. Good afternoon. Yeah. It's good afternoon for you. Good afternoon. I finally connected. Ah, uh, yes. I can very well see you. Uh, am I audible? Absolutely audible, sir. Your voice is a little bit more like in our ears. Thank you so much. People usually say I have a very loud voice. But that is the only way to be heard, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Many times that's the only way. Absolutely agree. Hi, Namita. Hi, hi, Namita. Hi, Manoj. Hi, Anu. Cool. We can start in the next fifteen twenty seconds. Let more people join, and then we can set the ball rolling. So, so you like cold justice, which is good. Yeah, of course, of course, it is there. And there must be a copy. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> My in the background, also as you, I also set up some of uh, your books in the background, as you can see there. Uh, these are your books on top. I know. हाँ ये see but I see my image. Yeah. It's a mirror image. उल्टी दिखती है. आपकी सीधी दिख रही है और सीधी दिख रही है. Ah, beg your pardon. See when I when I look at mine in this, yeah. they're all a mirror image. No, I think it's it's fine. I can like see myself. I can see you, your books. But ah, but this... are they? Like, ये उल्टी है. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, absolutely. I can see them very clearly. Okay, I think it's only to us that if you see your books in yes. your camera, it will be good. Yes, yes. You right. learn something every day. Absolutely. All right, so I think we can start. So, uh, good evening and welcome everyone to Kitabi Bate. I am Abhishek, also known as Books Wale Bhaiya, and my guest today is uh, someone who actually doesn't need an introduction, but a very good way of introducing himself is that he is India's best page turner. He is India's John Grisham. He is. Uh, One of the top fifty-one Indian novelists to be read, and uh, uh, by many accounts, is India's only legal thriller writer. So, wish sir, welcome to Kitabi Baate. It's indeed an honor to uh, have you here. It's my privilege to be uh, with you, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Am sir. I clear? Am I clear uh, in the? Am I? Clear? No, absolutely. I can very well hear you. Uh, all those who are watching, if in by any chance you are facing any issues in the audio, let us know. But I can very clearly hear you. Uh, but for the so before we start, for the benefit of viewers, so Vish sir spent his early years in Ajmer in Rajasthan. He studied commerce there. He moved to Manchester to do his MBA from Manchester Business School, and he has worked with several multinational corporations of repute. Uh, especially a uh, Ford Motor Company, where he worked close to 16 years, if, if yes. I'm not wrong. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah, now he is uh, running Fledgling's Nursery School in Kent in United Kingdom. And yes, of course, he is writing very well-written, wonderful novels uh, at regular intervals uh, to give us some really good thriller novels. Uh, Thank you. So, sir, this is more like a, a professional uh, introduction. Would you like to tell us? uh something about yourself especially before you moved into writing about your life in india and in in the united kingdom so i obviously finished school like everyone else and uh, then joined commerce like you said then i actually wanted to be a lawyer and i okay. did go i went to uh, study law and dropped out after first year so you know law is totally different now than it was way back in mid 90s because there was no corporate law right and a lot of people were just in the university studying law just to hang around more in university or you know if you wanted to get into politics you had to be yes. a student yes so everybody asked me what are you doing and i said i am doing law and then the next question would be law to kar rahe ho karoge kya so it right. was not accepted ki law karke you are looking for a profession in law absolutely and tr truth be told with no corporate law a lot of criminal lawyers and big lawyers are quite uh, you know uh, pushtoni if if that's the right word they they've yes. got a heritage or a history they've got a family history in law and those yes. are the big firms and the and and, and to be fair to others do uh, you know all the uncles and stuff who used to ask you what will you do i guess they could foresee a long years of struggle after law which obviously yes. we didn't uh to wo law ka portion jump karke i did an mba in jodhpur masters in management and then got into the corporate life so i worked for dig jam i used to work for times of india 
uh, United Colors of Benetton, Kodak. It was my last job before I decided to do uh, an MBA abroad. And the the idea was to do the degree and come back. But by the time I finished uh, my MBA, I had you know uh, spent far more amount of money than I had expected. So I thought I'll stay here, be cool for okay. some time. And then as time grew by, I think in the last time, 2008 or 9, when I tried to move back to India to find a job, everyone just turned around and said, oh, you don't have any recent Indian experience. And then I thought, Ki, thi, ke wo, you know that story of Dobi ka gada na ghar ka na ghaad ka. <laughs> so I thought, okay, if, if, right. if you don't expect me back, then I'll play my cards. I'll still be in India. In terms, right. in terms of I still, my, my, my allegiance towards the country will remain and I will keep right. sending books. So my right. presence in India will still be there. So that was, Absolutely. that's in a nutshell. Uh, so you rightly mentioned because I was going to ask you going by the, the stuff you write in your legal thrillers. I actually wanted to ask you, did you aspire to be a lawyer? You had any connection uh, with the law fraternity? Because uh, I was definitely very much impressed by the way you write, especially the courtroom drama. So so in between, as we, we see, you know, you worked in the corporate world, you thought of coming back to India once and it didn't work out that way. How did this writing happen? And especially uh, how did uh, writing crime fiction and legal thrillers, it occurred to your mind? Okay, so hello, uh, Richa. Richa has just joined. Uh, oh, yeah. Richa, hi, hi, Richa. She's a big author. So we yes. need to say. Uh, so yes, I uh, look at this. You know, you, you know, Tintin? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, without us realizing, all we read, or when we all started reading, be it books or comic books. Yes. It was always crime fiction. If you, yeah. had, had, if you look at Phantom Comics, I don't know if they exist now. The Phantom Comics I read, the Mandrake the Magician I read, yeah. the Bahadur yeah. I read. The Tintin I read, the the Asterix I read, they were in their own way, comically in 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 pictures, they were fighting crime. Now yes, you could yes. be an investigative reporter like Tintin and fighting crime. Yes. So subconsciously, and then you you know everyone I don't know about others, but everyone started with Hardy Boys, Secret yeah. Seven, moved Secret on to Sherlock Holmes, yes. Agatha Christie, and they were all crime fiction. So there was this whole thing without us knowing. That people exactly. actually writing crime fiction. So when you start writing or you think about writing, the first genre that you've always read would always be, you know, forefront of what you want to write in. Absolutely. So I don't think there was a schematic of what I will write. And even today, I think the subgenre classification ki ye psychological hai, ye legal hai, ye wo hai, it's more for the benefits of, of you know, how you stock books. I think that it would have come out of there. Like if you go to a music store, you know where to find rock music, where to find jazz, where to find classic. So I think books also started getting that kind of genre defining yes. things. Crime, exactly. romance, mythology. And I think that is how. So crime fiction was what I wrote. And uh, all when I start writing a story, I don't specifically think I don't know, others, other authors might might uh, n not agree with me. Ki main is bar psychological right. I start writing in crime fiction and as it moves along, you realize this story is more suited ki isme law ka, you know, you need to have a legal courtroom scene yes. and therefore it automatically gets into a courtroom drama. Yes. How I it is, I pick up what the crime is and how will it get solved. That Those are the two pillars between which I write the story. Does it make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. So in, in the 11 books we have uh, written so far, it's a mix of, you can say, thriller, murder, mysteries, uh, like ACP Rita Ferreira's books. It's a mix of, you can say, thrill and, uh, uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, murders. Uh, then there, there are legal thrillers. So that do you see this way you would like to keep on writing or do you like to kind of uh, super specialize in, say, murder, mysteries or, or in legal thrillers in the future? No, I don't think that, I don't think the world is looking for a specialized niche market writer. I will keep writing crime fiction till I start writing something else. I don't know. I mean, I say I would not write crime fiction, but never say never. Tomorrow the idea might spring upon me and I would think that uh, and, and, and maybe I write something that just lends itself to romance. 
आई डोंट नो बट नो आई हैव नो स्पेसिफिक कि मैं अब कल मेडिकल सेलर लिखूंगा या आई जस्ट राइट अ स्टोरी एंड देन आई सी हाउ इट वर्क कि इसमें do i you know psychological thrillers jaise wo prisoner's dilemma hai basically right. you you have to write it in a way it's the same story you can put it in crime caper like high starters you write yes. it in a way that one perspective is never shown so it is yes. the lack of a perspective yet completing the story that makes it psychological because you were not prepared for the other perspective there's some missing yes. element that is not shown to the reader or a viewer if it's a television series ott or movie however the story has to complete and to be true to itself as we any get main ye bata hi nahi raha to ye galat bata raha hu aapko so basically right. you it has to come across as true as real and as complete and Absolutely. only then can you can you can you write to so psychological ho gaya uh, the uh, legal abhi I'm, i'm i'm in the middle of writing one so i i i don't Especially अब अगर कहीं कोई डॉक्टर से रिलेटेड होगी मेडिकल सिलर सो इट विल कम आउट एज अ स्टोरी एंड इवन इफ यू हैव डॉक्टर्स इट डज नॉट मीन इट विल बी अ मेडिकल सिलर इट माइट बी दैट अ डॉक्टर हैज डन समथिंग रॉन्ग और समथिंग इज समन एलेज इज अ डॉक्टर ऑफ बैल प्रैक्टिस विच पुअर गाय हैज एंड और पुअर गर्ल हैज एंड एंड इट टर्न्स इनटू अ लीगल सिलर कि भाई फाइनली इफ यू टेक हिम टू कोर्ट इट माइट इवन दो दे माइट बी मेडिकल डिटेल इन इट it might still lend itself to be called a legal seller so us pe na there is not much control right i have for you absolutely so so being india's uh, by many account india's only legal thriller writer so when you jumped into writing uh, uh, legal thrillers did you have any such kind of skepticism in mind that legal thriller as a genre is not much there in india like when you talk of legal thrillers before you started writing we talked of john gresham for example but a uh, legal thriller as a genre was not very well established so did you have any such concerns in mind that i'm serving something new to the uh, to the readers will it pull off or, or it won't see this is where i slightly differ from your view ki even though no one was writing legal thrillers based in india using indian law yes yes it not take away the fact that the legal thrillers from grisham and scott tuero and the movies and the ott wasn't doing well so the yes, genre yes. was being bought absolutely. purchased read and viewed absolutely which there was a gap that if you brought the same kind of genre close to you so jaise aap bombay or delhi dekhte ho and then you see that the indian law is used to kind of counter and uh, you know yes. argue, it just brings it closer so the genre was always there somehow for some strange reason the whole genre has been dominated by americans so pehle perry mason hota tha if you remember in yes. 30s 40s i'm not i'm not sure 40s or mm-hmm. 50s then came uh, to kill a mockingbird yes. then came uh, what you know in fact i i picked up a old uh, edition of john grisham's uh, pelican brief and it is when uh-huh. when it says some day this southern lawyer will be as good as scott you know oh okay so it it's, the genre was always there wo because when you go to a doctor you are taken into a small room and the doctor sees you and there's no no one else watching you right but when you go to a court room it is designed to have an audience yes the moment you have audience which means people whether they are related to the case or not they are interested in watching interesting so it's like it's like a sports match people come to watch people come to watch a court case obviously Absolutely. it's 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 not as big right but there is certain amount of interest so it was quite logical men ah uh-huh, i didn't expect that kind of success in the first deja karma that it right. went right. to top in crosswords and stuff yes but that just showed that people were looking looking for legal killers and they found yeah. indian and they didn't suddenly think ki india mein you know there's this some of this elite mentality of certain people ki indian author hai to theek nahi hoga right so that didn't that didn't kind of uh, suffer suffer for that so that right. that's that's the way i think so coming to characters like you have established acp data for all the three novels dedicated to i think it's going to be made into a web series as well yeah uh, like, i met the producer this time and uh, they are they should be start think to film early next year okay and, uh, i think it should be on amazon next year and hopefully But fingers crossed so it, it movie or a web series it's it's on amazon it will be most probably on amazon prime it will be three okay. separate seasons I mean, okay, they, they've they've taken all three books, but let's be honest and fair to them. Uh, 
if bendy bazaar the first one does well then they'll go for the second right. if bendy bazaar flops for some reason then uh, you know uh, who's going to put money behind uh, right. yeah so i'm i'm assuming it will come out next year and i'm assuming people will watch it and i'm assuming therefore it will continue but absolutely once one, one, one lives on hope isn't it right absolutely but i i personally do hope they will be great success but so coming to your characters so acp rita ferrera and in the legal thrillers like uh, in this one also akash singorani who's a, who's a uh, lawyer so and as many other uh, crime fiction or detective fiction writers have established characters like Ag- agatha christie with her cute poirot we had uh, sherlock holmes from arthur conan doyle and in the famous five in which you discussed so do you plan to uh keep on you know adding new characters you want to stick to these characters and establish themselves as uh, in the league of uh, the other famous uh, characters so uh i i don't know if you read michael connelly he has a character called uh, harry bosch that's been continuing for 21 yes. 20 i think yes. 23 by books yes. and i'll be very honest here i fi- i'm finding it very difficult to carry on with the same character i will try mm-hmm. i'm not saying i will not uh because it gets monotonous after a while because okay. wo ek story dusri story ek jaisi lagne lagti hai plus the yes. problem with a book is that you cannot have 2000 characters you will have absolutely. 10 15 characters absolutely usme if you have rita and the team that means you take out four or five characters which have been running for a long time so jo bendi bazaar mein the who yes. been in lipstick would be now one of them cannot turn around to become a murderer or or yes. or the criminal yes so true, true. in the in small pool of 15 you already kind of earmarked five that can't be so that true. reduces the scope of the narrative to kis taraf le jaoge ki wo ab bache hue if there are only five characters wohi five characters mein se hoga to one it loses the suspense part suspense. secondly you i have to be very careful to keep it reducing even if it's dita ferrera you have to keep introducing new characters so that the narrative remains fresh a new mm-hmm. language comes in so that i have introduced in lipstick a new character jo yes. hindi idioms ko english mein karta hai so you know there's some there's some comic role in it and and a lot of people said they actually suspected him to be the lipstick killer and stuff so you have to keep bringing it back so that True. it does not become stale but, yes. but otherwise 21 like jack reacher is a brilliant example to uh, kind absolutely. of catch on but jack reacher may the biggest advantage is the location is different every time every now time. if i have made dcp ferrera the commissioner of dcp deputy commissioner of police pehli to high ranking hogi to right. she can only go to certain number of places before she gets a desk job so i right. kind of I, i am kind of reined in by the success of rita ferrera ki i can't so it will not be regular ki jack reacher ki tarah sari kitabe unki aayengi but in an off हर तीन चार पांच बुक में आई वुड ट्राई टू राइट समथिंग विद रीटा फरेरा टू कैरी अर ऑन बिकॉज़ आई थिंक शी हैज अ शी हैज अ बिग शी शी बिगर देन हर फिक्शनल सेल्फ नाउ यस सर दैट सो सो कमिंग टू द लोकेशन पॉइंट्स ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ नॉवेल्स हैव स्टोरीज रिलेटेड टू दिल्ली एंड और मुंबई लाइक इन कोल्ड जस्टिस विल द इन द मर्डर वाज सेट इन लोरी गार्डन्स एंड दिल्ली एंड मुंबई सो एनी स्पेशल बॉन्ड यू शेयर विद दीस सिटीज और just like that so nothing else matters also go takes you to chennai for a while yeah, because yeah. i lived there right. uh, two three things uh, work ki uh, a lot of people in india and abroad always aspire to go to big cities so jo yes. ajmer mein hai use delhi aur bombay bahut acha lagta hai acha lagta jo yahan pe ramsgate mein hai use london dikhta hai ki london bada hai so it's one it creates an aspiration secondly it is as much closer even if you are from delhi and not from bombay you know gateway of india Absolutely. you know taj you know the airport you know santa <laughs> cruz area so it <laughs> can it connects so that's why the bigger cities make it easy for me to kind of make it relatable to the readers right. but a lot of stories in between like uh, uh, deja karma he goes to jaipur he goes yeah. to ajme goes to pushkar high starter yeah. starts from ajmer goes to banaras and comes but yes largely big cities is and, and plus i have lived in these cities so makes it easy so even though the the geography changes ki ye area wahan postcode mein chala gaya or something 
certain landmarks have remained you know the culture of the place which if you want to present like bombay in bendi bazaar i have presented that it is yes. <coughs> in one square mile it has more catholic churches than in rome so it's 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 those things that i like to bring to people that it's although it's fiction it is also relatable one and it's also interesting facts that you tell true true so yeah, that's so why that i kind is, of stick to it. right so like for example in bendi bazaar you uh mentioned why it is called bendi bazaar and mm. uh, actually many people all you like me and including me used to call it bindi bazaar and we didn't bindi. even know oh. it's, uh, it's it's bendi bazaar like that ashok like that. kumar example which we gave in the cold justice we, we many of us i'm sure won't be knowing that that these facts mm. are always uh, i find especially uh, very interesting full of knowledge sir thank you thank you like so, where, abhi, i was researching and do you know that bombay marine drive Yeah. Have the second largest number of art deco buildings in the world. First oh. in Florida. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so those all those all the Zaher Mahal, Zaher Mahal are in yeah. line of art deco buildings which were built in 1920s, 30s. Which yeah. art deco movement was going on. So these are the things which I, which which people when they read fiction, like I just read out, I not only read for the story, I also read for the interesting facts, right. the narrative, the language. Everything has to come together in a book. So that's, that's what right. I try to. and i'm thankful ki aap log uh, aisi cheezon pe bhi dhyan dete hain kabhi kabhi lagta hai ki just away some people just came and say are yaar story mein hai but i guess it's the whole flavor of uh, your banna i just tell people right. i can write the entire 300 page story in one page but right. it will take away the romance and it will take away the, uh, the the charm of reading absolutely absolutely so you started your first book was published in 2011 nothing lasts forever was 2010 2010 2010 i'm sorry 2010 so it's a 12 year journey for you but when you started i mean with no uh, you know you can say track record or no pedigree to talk of did you face challenges while getting a first book published through oh, yeah. with the publishers very, very grateful to sishti and jayanta for picking me up because kya tha ki i i i finished writing in the end of 2008 fir okay. wo kind of edited and you know re-edited so take it ki 2009 mid tak i had the book as it is today and and i'm talking about a time where you know most publishers in india wouldn't accept an online uh, manuscript yeah. right so i sent the first one post wo bada sara post you know paper okay. is heavy so it cost me 30 quid which is about 3000 rupees to maine kaha ye to kafi mehanga kaam hai plus right. so i found someone as a friend who said that she will do it for me and if i ever get published give her 20000 rupees so i put a two and two together ki agar main uh, 10 12 bhejunga to mere to it will be more expensive so i gave it to her ritika bajaj naam tha unka and she did a good job till then the saw the manuscript and said ki i want to talk to you you manage this 20000 which you promised i will not that's fair enough and uh, he found he had faith in the story and the book did phenomenally well i had no intention of writing a second book may i i was all uh, ready for a one book author this was something in my bucket list oh, okay ke, ke, apne baad, ha, but it didn't stop selling i mean i it still it should be agar i should pick up get a copy now it should be in its 35th or 37th edition har saal chapti har saal bikti ho so uh, i'm really grateful to uh, shristi for giving me a chance uh, jenda and arup both if they are listening ever तो हाँ वो उसके बाद आई डेंट राइट सो आई स्टार्ट गेटिंग ईमेल्स व्हेन इज द नेक्स्ट बुक कमिंग नेक्स्ट बुक कमिंग आई रियलाइज कि ये तो मतलब पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर इट सो द सेकंड बुक केम इन 2014 यस हिंदी बाजार इट बिकॉज़ आई आई डेंट थिंक आई वाज राइटिंग अनदर वन एंड फ्रॉम देन ऑन इट हैज बीन यू नो आई आई डिसाइडेड दैट राइटिंग इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स आई विल डू एंड आई केप्ट वर्किंग एट फोर्ड एंड राइटिंग फॉर अबाउट अनदर 4 इयर्स सो आई क्विट फोर्ड इन 2018 Uh, I decided to be a full-time author, but wo, it, writing is not a full-time job. So, as an EAP, you get up eight in the morning and start writing, and till five you will. So then I decided I should do something back for the community. So hence the school. This is not a money-making. I'm not going to become Tata or Richard Branson tomorrow, but it is good for the community. I I I, I like going and enjoying and playing with the kids, and and, and I see. the difference that the school and the managers and the teachers make so i think that's so this too is good because now i have time to myself i can go there i can even open my computer and write not do anything but it gives me a pattern of life a schedule for it is kind of exactly. 
so you also uh, keep reading a lot of uh, books especially thriller books you write brief summaries and reviews on instagram uh, who as I, and i'm sure you would have read many of the thrillers crime fiction who among them your favorite books or favorite authors Oh, ये तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है सो आई क्वाइट लाइक इन दी ओल्ड टाइमर्स आई वुड से जेम्स एल रॉय वॉज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट्स ही इज नो लॉन्ग आई डोंट थिंक आई डोंट नो इफ ही इज अलाइव नॉट आई आई एम रियली सॉरी आई शुड नो उसकी एक बुक है ब्लैक डालिया आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड इट इज मदर ओन मदर वॉज विक्टिम ऑफ अ सीरियल किलर एंड ही हैज एल ए कॉट्रेट चार बुक्स हैं उसमें Uh, I think two or three have been made into films. Uh, you will find LA Confidential, yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah, both. So uh, those are the old good books. I absolutely uh, love uh, Michael Connelly for his crime yeah. fiction. He also writes legal thrillers yeah. in between. He has a character called Mickey Haller. You must have seen Lincoln Lawyer. Yes, there's a film and there's a series. Both are separate yeah. books, but yes. they're both titled the same. Uh, Scott Turo is amazing. So if you haven't seen Presumed Innocent or Innocent, I mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't read them, read them and then watch the films. Harrison Ford stars in Presumed Innocent. Oh, okay. uh, Coburn is fantastic. Quick, fast reads. He's always good. Uh, so these are the three, four authors that I, I I do not miss a book from. I don't miss a book from uh, Lee Child, even though I know that Jack Reacher is a super hero, but it's still But right. still, he writes it very, very. uh interestingly and very intense and very fast so so i i i i like i write read books for the story i also read books for how the narrative flows and how the language is kind of used and right. those are things and anything other than crime or the thrillers you you like to read any other genre i no i restrict at the moment because you know there's only as much time you have i have to yeah. look up school i have yeah. to read i have to write television we watch karna hai golf bhi khel liye hain and you have to run the household so there is only enough time so i thought i would i i watch other stuff but reading i because i watch with my wife so we both watch together but right. reading I, at the moment uh, largely is uh, crime fiction or magazine and newspapers so or as, as your yeah please go it no no i said or online articles yeah okay so do you see any uh, difference in like indian readers as your books are india centric and the kind of deception they get in india and versus these authors especially as you talked about and as you're living in in england since long time any differences do you see in readers preferences uh, across these countries so i wouldn't say the difference in readers perspectives but reading as a habit is not as big in india as it should be and okay. and it's it's kind of only gone down with the digital revolution yes. so if you have phone you have you have so many things grabbing your attention and i'm not sure if it happens because when i was in school and i'm talking decades back there yes. used to be a full fledged library in school we used yes. to have yes. every week there used to be a period of library where you would go to library read borrow books take and that inculcates the habit of reading reading is a habit Absolutely. once you start enjoying it it becomes a pleasure but you have to start somewhere and exactly. to be fair to the public the the digital revolution so now you not only have television which in our times was doordarshan and some star tv you have 24/7 television into 365 days plus i can't even count the channels then you have this phone then you have everything else distracting you from reading and reading requires concentration requires Absolutely. so it's it's a question of time and it's a question of setting your priorities by uh, so i read it somewhere that everyone gets 24 hours in the day how you use them is the play you have so you want to devote 2 hours of reading or you want to play on your phone you have games yes. you want to read on the phone because books are available you yes. can book read on the kindle if the books so reading as a habit has somehow gone down which needs to come up and 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 the other thing that there was when i was growing up there was this whole stigma about reading foreign authors versus indian authors that elitism mm -hmm. which has thankfully gone from india and yeah. now i have to the big thank you to mr chetan bhagat chetan bhagat he was he has brought the indian writing into the masses in and the masses. absolutely and also the number of authors have grown and it's a lot of good content coming out of india 
True. It's just that the leaders are still a little less. So maybe the curriculum again in schools need to inculcate that habit yes. of reading, which is which is where I think India is slightly behind, if not more than the Western countries. Yahan pe, if you go in the local train, everybody has a book in there. Yes. Everybody, I said, but 60, 70% are reading That's their books. They're not glued to their phones. Train yes. mein, they're not. They basically, if they have, if you have a journey. बुक इज लाइक अगर आप निकल रहे हो सनस्क्रीन लेके और क्रेडिट कार्ड लेके लंबी जर्नी पे यू विल आल्सो टेक अ बुक इफ यू गो टू अ टेक अ बुक यू यू गो टू अ बिग टेक अ बुक कैफे जाते हैं तो बुक्स लेके आते हैं तो वो वो हैबिट नहीं हुई है हैबिट नहीं क्वेश्चन ऑफ यू ब्रिंगिंग द डाटा एंड इट डजंट मैटर व्हाट लैंग्वेज यू रीड इट जस्ट अ रीडिंग हैबिट हैज टू बी डेवलप्ड एब्सोल्युटली सो एज एज इंटरेस्टिंगली इंडिया हैड मेनी क्राइम फिक्शन राइटर्स अर्लियर इन द past few decades we are seeing the mon patak ji which we talked wow. about when we had we had uh, ved prakash sharma ji ved prakash kamboj this is another one called ramu i think uh, was the uh, pen name and they interestingly they all wrote in hindi so hmm. do you think of you know getting your books translated into hindi and maybe other regional languages just for a wider appeal or I do you see the future is all english no as a future thing i think the the decision is not mine the decision is publishers but wo once you sell the rights aapke paas as an author not many rights are still available so right. i it's they is the uh, publisher that decides ki this book lends itself to a vernacular language or not wo mere hath mein hota to main to kar deta but it is not because uh, if you go to a big publisher and say ki main hindi rights nahi dunga to english nahi lega So it, I, I don't have that bargaining power. Right. Or not? So I have Hindi rights. Bechu ni. I would, I would sell Hindi rights to a Hindi publisher. True. But for me, pass. No leverage. Nahi hai. So I can't, right. I can't answer that till the publisher does it. Publisher. Jab lagta hoga ki nahi bikhe ki par bikti to hai. And right. I have got request saying Hindi me kyu kab aari hai na. So I cut a sorry figure saying, "Mujhe pata hi nahi hai." So bang. Right. That is the thing. True. True. Of course. Yeah, because I, I remember even Surendra ji, some of the famous novels were translated into English because they were. Or they खुद करते हैं, वो खुद करते हैं. Have you never met him? I met him, but I got only the book signed. It was a huge gathering. I couldn't get. मैंने तो आप एक काम करना. After this, send me an email. I'll write to him, copy you. You should have one with him. He's a very very interesting gentleman. I very, was very looking forward to such a thing. I have been reading his novels uh, off late and the Vimal series, and I am mm-hmm. just loving it. so i in fact i watched many of his interviews and i had this thing in mind that if i get a chance i would like to have a one on one session with him so i I'll, i'll definitely connect with I'll, you regarding that i'll uh, connect i'll connect yeah. so all right so so what advice uh, basis your experience on 11 books and as you said you are writing that 12th one what mm-hmm. advice would you like to give to aspiring writers right so <laughs> no i know <laughs> this but i i do get uh, as others also get requests on instagram and facebook ki and and it starts ki i want to write a book ki bhai wo to aapko you have to write a book right first so as i always tell people book writing or anything creativity whether it's painting or making a film or doing it's 40 50% is about creativity आपको टाइप तो खुद ही करना पड़ेगा ना टाइम एंड लेबर एंड हैव कॉन्फिडेंस इन योर सेल्फ की भाई जो मैं लिखूंगा वो छपेगी अब वो आई आई बीन टू लिट फेस्ट जहां पे यू नो न्यू ऑथर्स ब्रॉट इन टू पिच टू हम तो पीछे बैठे थे and as he wo unhe pata laga ki meri bhi ek do kitabe hai to he came to talk to me and the first question that boy he was 20 or 21 he he says i want to become an author i said fair enough he says kitni kamai ho jati hai ab this that's a wrong way to approach any art exactly. form ki wo kitni kamai agar if that is your goal i can literally tell you at least 100 professions which you will make more money than an author well, or exactly. any or any artist ka, ka success chances one in 100 if that so everyone who wants to play cricket does not become tendulkar absolutely <coughs> so sachin tendulkar there are 10000 people who tried who never made it to indian team yes so every taru khan there are 10000 100000 who wanted to be a film star but they failed so actually so jo made it wo dikhta hai to overnight success does not come overnight so you absolutely. have to put in the labor 
So my advice is read. Read in the genre that you want to write in. One is to understand what is already there in the market. Then understand if there is a gap. अगर चार किताबें आपने पढ़ी लगा कि यार ये वाला इसके बीच में ऐसा gap है, that is it. Also that will give you an understanding what the market is wanting. But there are two things in writing. One is you have to be a good writer, which is fair enough. Absolutely. But you could. आप दुनिया के सबसे बेहतरीन राइटर हैं. Maybe you've written another Bible. It has to have a commercial value. Absolutely. You have to look at from perspective of the publisher. कि बहुत बढ़िया है लेकिन ये कमर्शियली वायबल नहीं है बेच ही नहीं सकता तो वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ पब्लिशिंग इट देर टू थिंग्स दैट वन इज द क्रिएटिविटी वन इज द कमर्शियल बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट फर्स्ट फोकस ऑन द राइटिंग गेट दैट मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट आउट एडिटेड री एडिटेड रीड वॉट्स अवेलेबल द मार्केट माई सिंसियर एडवाइस इज फाइंड योर सेल्फ अ लिटरी एजेंट बिकॉज मेरा माई लिटरी एजेंट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल दे नॉट ओनली जस्ट पिच द बुक टू द पब्लिशर दे ऑल्सो टेल मी After I finish writing, ki isme kya kami hai, where I can add, what is extra? Because as an author, as a writer, I think that every word I put on the script is justified. But you know, when somebody, a critic, reads it, and the literary agent reads more books than I can ever read or write, their whole team. So if they are telling me that something is just slowing down the story because I want to put it, then that needs to be addressed. So a literary good literary agent, or if you don't want a literary agent. a good critic who understands right. books who's read books is very important and your best critic is not your mom mummy ko to sabhi aisa lagta hai jis din maine pehli kitab sunne ka tere ko to wo sabse bada prize milega that is love that should not be mistaken as critic as a critic so that's true and i'm not down playing ki mummy ne kaha to acha nahi hai mummy ne kaha to acha hai lekin that is not the market your mom will right. always love you your dad will always love you so that is not true reflection of your work that is right. the reflection of their love for you of their love for so us so get yourself a critic get yourself a literary agent absolutely and as now again uh, 11 books already under your stable how how do you see uh, like the way i see it as a reader is that i think uh, ever since uh, all these in the authors you talked about you are one of the very few perhaps the only horror crime fiction writer who is you know making a mark writing books in the same genre but how do you yourself see the future of uh, crime fiction in in india i think we i i i uh, strongly believe that the market uh, of crime fiction is very large so there are more people welcome into it and richa to bhi hain to wo to richa to is a big sort of sell so uh, the market has to so there is only two ways for my books to sell more one is i get a larger share of the cake or we increase the size so i would i mean there are there are very good authors in crime uh, i would want more and more people to write crime fiction for the market to kind of become big and then usme se jitna share milta hai theek hai at least readers get a bigger choice rather than going for foreign authors yes. and there's not nothing wrong with foreign authors don't take me wrong but going for foreign authors because of lack of choice yes. should not भाई चॉइस है उसके बाद आपको जो करना है वो आप करेंगे बट देर शुड बी इनफ स्प्रेड इन द इंडियन क्राइम फिक्शन व्हिच इट्स बिगिनिंग टू शो दिस डेज व्हिच इज गुड व्हिच इज गुड न्यूज़ फॉर ऑल फॉर फॉर रिचा फॉर मी फॉर रवि फॉर कंचना फॉर कुलप्रीत फॉर एवरीवन कि एनजेडी साहब कि भाई देयर आर यू नो अदर पीपल राइटिंग इन द जॉनर सो द मार्केट विल एक्सपैंड सडनली यू विल सी अ फुल शेल्फ ऑफ इंडियन क्राइम फिक्शन इन इंडियन क्राइम नहीं होता और सब एक साथ होते हैं So yes. you will have a match. You will have a mystery, suspense, crime fiction, pura bada. So that that is the day I'm looking for. Absolutely. So th- this same thing happened with uh, Indian fiction as such. Like before, as we talked about the uh, Chetan Bhagat books, the most of the Indian writers like Amita Ghosh, Salman Rushdie, and all, but they were not like uh, their books are not for mass reading. Mm-hmm. So there were a lot of Indian writers who used to write fiction, but yeah, Chetan Bhagat as we both. agreed you know he changed the game and then we saw uh, an emergence of uh, indian writing so yes i think uh, same may definitely and uh, as a reader i would really like that to happen for uh, crime fiction definitely one genre i i love reading and i see you know there are a lot of people who absolutely love uh, uh, crime fiction and with authors like you can definitely you know make a mark as uh, as indian uh, author so i think in one of the interviews you were asked that you know you are known as india's john grisham but Do you think now is the time with eleven books under your bed? Now is the time to call you only wish Tamija and not India's John Gisham or India's. In our country, there is a lot of fascination. 
I'll ask yes. you a quick question to answer. Hi, Ashish. Ye hamare Ajmer ki Ashish Goenji. Okay. Uh, you know, you know who's the biggest star, film star on the planet today? Yeah. By by number of films, by number of productions, by number of appearances, even the dollar earnings. Is Shahrukh Khan. If you have all of them alone, so he is the biggest star on the planet. The number of times he is featured on the Time magazine, everything yeah. for the shows right. he does. But in America, my Brad Pitt, no one says that America is Shahrukh Khan. America. Hume, I, I, I'll tell you how it started. It was never meant to be. So when Deja hmm. Karma got published, my publisher at the time, Rumor Books, sent it to a magazine in Chandigarh. Now, someone has glimpsed it. It's a magazine. It's a very glossy hmm. thing. तो उन्होंने कहा ये क्या बुक है तो उन्होंने कहा ये लीगल थ्रिलर है उनका लीगल थ्रिलर क्या होता है कि वो जॉन ग्रीसम लिखता है तो बस उन्होंने टू प्लस टू लगाया और जॉन ग्रीसम इज अ वेरी बिग ऑथर वर्ल्ड वाइड बी नंबर वन बेस्ट सेलर वर्ल्ड वाइड प्लस ही लार्जली ओनली राइट लीगल थ्रिलर आई राइट अदर क्राइम थ्रिलर पर वो वो लग गया है वो जाता ही नहीं वो मैं कोशिश आई आई डिसुएड पर None of the publishers to put it on the book. They don't. Mm -hmm. But wo, uh, once it has been picked up, book. When it will go, I mean, initially it was really, really elating. That, boy, what a matter, what a comparison. Right. But you know, only after ten years you realize that, boy, why are they saying that? But see, you cannot control. Absolutely. In today's time, social media or this media, what can you control? True. So True. you have either a choice to stand up and start fighting, or you will be beaten. Beaten. Or you accept. Let's go. Boy, what is it? Let's go. Let's go. What? It, it's not taking anything away from me. Absolutely. I do not personally like it, but ठीक है क्या करूँ मैं? There there are so many things you don't like personally, but वो आप दुनिया में जी रहे हो, so you have to live with the world, with the people. So I I I have accepted it कि ये मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता जब ये जाएगा जाए. फिर वो चला जाता है, फिर कोई एक newspaper लगा देता है, tete a tete with India, John Grisham फिर आ जाता है. So I I don't think it मैं ये वो कोई eraser होता तो मैं जाके बिठा देता, पर वो मेरे पास में बात है, वो होगा नहीं है जितनी बार मैं बोलूंगा मत बोलो वो इज द ओल्ड थिंग ना मोर यू डोंट वांट इट द मोर इट विल कम इन योर फेस सो आई आई लर्न टू लिव विद इट आई एम मेड पीस विद इट एब्सोल्युटली इन फैक्ट एज यू टॉक्ड अबाउट शाहरुख खान इन फैक्ट मेनी ऑफ पीपल से इज इंडियाज टॉम क्रूज फॉर एग्जांपल अगेन वी हैव ही इज मेकिंग अ कंपैरिजन कि वो इंडिया का टॉम क्रूज है वो इंडिया की करेंसी जबकि डॉलर से कम है तो भी ही इज बिगर देन टॉम क्रूज एब्सोल्युटली इट शुड बी द अदर वे अराउंड बट और वैसे देयर इज No two people, in my in my uh, opinion, should ever be compared. Two people are totally different. Exactly. Even exactly. if they're doing the same thing, you don't have to say he is so and so of so and so. Uska koi sense nahi hai. Because one thing is, it it is also for for a small person like me. It is also you start comparing me to someone big, so I will fall flat. And then people say, "Hey, banta hai." Arey, main to bani nahi raha tha. Right. Aap ne banaya, aap ne utara. Main to kuch kari nahi raha tha. I was I was just a spectator in my own life. Right. So, I'm just watching it. But I think in India, still very much fascinated by that foreign badge that, bahar ka, yeah, uske comparison mates, comparable with Western standards in, in many things we say. And again, author or, or an actor is is like the this of America or this of of US or, or England. Is me saath me, un jinon nahi pada, unki advertising aur hori saath. Aur hori, exactly. Aur jisko pane to pata, jisko nahi pata hai, basically. Jisko nahi pata hai, exactly. Aur jisko pata hoga. और जिसको नहीं पता कि ये कौन है इसको कह रहे हैं तो पहले वो पढ़ लो तो मेरी किताब तो वैसे चलेगी पीछे कि इसको बाद में पढ़ेंगे पहले पहले ओरिजिनल पहले सो ऑल इट सो वील ओपन इट विद ऑडियंस बट जस्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक मे बी लिटिल टू अर्ली टू आस्क बट वेन कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट यूर नेक्स्ट बुक आई थिंक इट इज री रिलीज ऑफ देजा कर्मा वो रूबर बुक्स ने करी थी टू एंड फिफ्टीन में and it has been uh, the rights have now been bought by pan macmillan mm -hmm. so they will because last time kya hua tha ek to it wasn't a very good print copy right. plus uh, there were some problems with the publishers i mean uh, internal problems thi nothing nothing they didn't deliberately do it to wo zyada copies chhapi bhi nahi jitni in online kafi bhi ki jo biki bahut achhi biki so we got it back and it it is a re release of uh, aapne have you read it deja karma Yes, but I read it on Kindle. Ah, so the the वो जरूर खरीद ना थोड़ी हमारे भी sale बढ़ा. Absolutely. So it will come uh, next year in uh, I think February March में आएगी. So that that is the timeline we have thought about it. So that that's a kind of thing. Before you open, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, please. ये books वाले भैया का नाम कहाँ से आया? How did you get to that? 
no name i no i was looking for some uh, you can say a bit catchy name i thought of many names but wo kuch na kuch unka presence pehle se tha acha kitab ki keeda was too general or too generic to wo kitab ki keeda jaise bahut sare pages kuch na kuch the to kitab ki keeda was in my mind uh, and then kitabi baatein was one i thought of but i still hmm. thought maybe chale na chale so these all these sessions i name kitabi baatein uh and then thread kuch thoda sa catch thoda sa indian touch so that because uh, yeah. i read more of indian yeah. books and uh, something it's which good. can appeal indian uh, uh, masses so that's why this this was fine and it took me many days to actually finalize so once i just said okay theek hai jo hai kuch to naam zero karna hi hai this so, the character ka naam rakhna kitna easy nahi hota hai you have to talk to it about fir uski chavi ha so thank you that thank you for telling me aise pucha main ka bhi pucha मेरे को भी ये बुलाया तो मैं सवाल तो पूछूंगा Yes. All right. So, uh, okay. So, I'll we'll open it to the audience, guys. Any questions? Please write it in the comment box, and sir will answer that. You can write anything related to his books, his upcoming books, anything. Please feel free. So, let me check if there is any questions yet. Ah, with children, audience, yeah. No, no, there are a number of audience, yeah. Question to Deshwa. i can okay okay this just you can easily get joined yeah so guys any questions please feel free to ask before we uh, end this session uh, just wait i think typing makes it difficult na huh? yeah it's and many of them join through their phones chalo koi nahi if they have any questions they can uh, write to me on my insta handle but let the question be you know if it 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 is a sensible question i always respond the only thing i tell people is it's instagram not instantgram agle din matlab 3 minute mein aayega jawab i generally respond to any queries which are which i think are sensible wo faltu ke mere ko paise de do main dm kar dunga wo usme main i don't engage in that conversation no no of course of Point. course yeah all right so yeah there no question as of now so guys yes please feel free to ask sir uh, any question on his instagram channel as he said it's not instant gram but yes given my experience he will uh, definitely Isika. answer your questions koi aaya uh, hi okay. hi nika so, like you explained about readers differences any one similarity and differences you feel in indian and international uh, authors okay uh, oh. before you answer sir in the interest of transparency uh, he is my wife okay. and uh, yeah so yeah didi नहीं तो डिफरेंस इज बेसिकली स्टेम्स आउट ऑफ द रीडर्स ना कि इफ देर आर मोर रीडर्स द पब्लिशर्स वुड नॉट माइंड टेकिंग अ रिस्क ऑफ समथिंग व्हिच इज ऑफ बीट राइट यू अगर अगर रीडर्स अगर बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी रीडर्स दैट कमर्शियली द पब्लिशर वुड बी प्रोन टू टेकिंग मोर रिस्क व्हिच इज समथिंग ऑफ बीट हमारे यहां कि इफ दस इफ इट डज नॉट शूट अ टेम्पलेट the pub- and and i'm being fair to publisher ki bhai agar bechega nahi to aapki kitab leke what will publisher do right. so i think the size of the market decides that ki if right. the market is too big even if a niche will take that risky venture it will still be commercially viable whereas if the market right. is small the niche agar aap kuch likh do so that niche market might not be commercially viable the yes. if the publisher feels कि दिस इज अ लॉस मेकिंग लाइक एनी अदर बिजनेस अगर आपके पास दुकान में एक शेल्फ है तो आप वही पचास किताबें रखोगे जो बिकती है आपको पक्का पता है अगर आपके पास तो शेल्फ है तो यू विल टेक अ रिस्क यार कोई तो आएंगे ये वाली भी ले लेंगे तो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स टेक फ्रॉम द नंबर ऑफ रीडर्स एंड देयर फॉर ऑथर्स एक्सपेरिमेंट मोर इन द नैरेटिव इन द राइटिंग स्टाइल इन द स्टोरीज इन द ट्वेस्ट इन एवरीथिंग सो आई थिंक दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस आई कैन respond to at the moment absolutely so i would just like to add one thing to this so this was a conversation i heard at one of the bookstores in khan market 
uh, not Varya mm-hmm. Sons, Fakir Chand. So the owner was saying something to his staff, and he said that uh, books do taragi hoti hain, ek jo sada bahar hoti hain aur ek jo sada bahar hoti hain. Acha. So I think yeah, what you said that is a niche market. You know, depending on the type of market, of course, the 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 publishers will also take a call that way. Mm-hmm. Well, so uh, we will end the session now, sir. Thank you very much for uh, coming online and having this wonderful interaction. It was lovely talking to you, and my best wishes for all your future books. Thank you for having me, and and keep in touch, and uh, <laughs> look forward to more books and more interactions. We'll we'll meet catch up again in Delhi, and anyone like I said, feel free to follow, feel free to ask. The, ये कोई आया है? Yeah. So Lakshmi, so La- publishers are the rulers. वो तो पब्लिशर्स तो ऑब्वियसली आई वुड कॉल देम रूलर्स दैट वुड बी अ बिट थैंक यू अनु डेरोगेटरी बट लार्जली आप यू देखें ना कि इट इज मेंट टू बी अ बिजनेस तो बिजनेस हैज टू मेक प्रॉफिट टू टू काइंड ऑफ फंड द ऑपरेशन टू पे द सैलरीज तो इट्स नॉट रूलर इट्स नॉट की डिक्टेटरशिप चल रही है बट इट्स इट्स अ बिजनेस सेंस आपका अगर बिजनेस हो तो आप क्यों लॉस मेकिंग बिजनेस करोगे तो व्हाई वुड इट एनी डिफरेंट फॉर पब्लिशर्स एंड दैट इज व्हाई आई सेड कि पब्लिश एंड आल्सो बिकॉज़ दे आर इफ यू लुक एट एनी ऑफ द बिग पब्लिशर्स आई एम नॉट श्योर पर मैं ऐसे रोज की अगर 100 मैन्युस्क्रिप्ट आती हैं तो अगर आप वहां डायरेक्टली भेजोगे तो आपकी गलती है द मोमेंट यू सेंड इट टू बी एजेंट वो वैसे ही फिल्टर कर देते हैं वो देख लेते हैं कि किस में जाने आपको सजेस्ट करते हैं व्हाट टू डू विद इट देन दे नो व्हिच पर्टिकुलर पब्लिशर इज लुकिंग फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ फिक्स यस सो यू नो इट इज मोर टारगेटेड अप्रोच इट्स नॉट रूलर इट्स नॉट डिक्टेटर बट उनका भी तो बिजनेस समझे ना कि आप दुकान अगर आप दुकान चला रहे हो तो आप क्यों वो सामान रखोगे जो बिकता ही नहीं जो बिकेगा नहीं इट्स प्रॉपर इट्स सिंपल रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस इफ यू प्लीज All right, so we'll call it a day. And thank you, sir, once again. And thank you all those who have watched the the video. And I will yes, I will be putting it on my YouTube channel uh, in some time. Thank you, thank you, books, wale bhaiya. Thank you, sir. Bye bye.